Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smeralda and you are watching Albo Plants. In today's video I want to share with you my two most favorite ways to propagate the string of hearts and it doesn't matter if it is variegated string of hearts, regular string of hearts or silver, silver glory or any other kind of uh, string of things. I think that these two methods are going to be successful for any of those. I have been filming this video for, for quite some time now and I'm going to also give you a full update on how the propagations are doing and without further ado let's start with propagating. So this is my mother plant and how it used to look. It is quite long and I chose to cut in a straight line at a specific place where I saw that it had smaller leaves so I will not feel bad when I need to cut the last leaves of the string to put in water and it is a bit of a challenging task because string of hearts do tangle up so yeah you need to have <laughs> a patient Again, string of hearts do tangle up, but I am trying to separate each strand and I want to choose which ones I want to keep for water propagating and which one for butterfly method. And when they separate it into two branches, I am going to cut them because I need to be single stranded and of course chop off all the flowers because they take a lot of energy from the plant. Here I want to show you that this is how a node looks like. It usually has two leaves on both sides and with the butterfly method you need to cut uh, the extra strings and keep only the node part like this. And so now I'm going to cut all my butterflies, butterfly nodes and some nodes also have new shoots, they are perfectly fine, they can be used as the other ones. So here I am chopping off all the excess uh, material and keeping only the nodes that I'm going to use and I have also uh, made the pots that I'm going to use used some soil and I suggest uh, not using um, big pieces of bark or coca core because uh, string of hearts roots are very small uh, thin and they do not attach very well when there are chunks of uh, bark so yeah position all your butterflies facing uh, upwards and the node touching the soil Now let's work on the strings that are for the water propagation. So you need to choose a string that is going to be like uh, maximum uh, 20 centimeters long and you need to cut off the leaves of the last node that is going to be emerged into water and the reason why we cut them is because they can rot and we don't want that and the new roots are going to come out on that last node. So if you have longer strands and you want to cut them in half, you can of course do it. If you have longer uh, strands, it's going to be more difficult for the roots to keep all the leaves, so you may end up losing leaves. So this is the reason why I suggest you uh, to cut longer pieces into shorter ones. So let's do all the strands that we are going to use for this propagation. After I finished uh, putting them in my glass, I am going to fill with water until all the nodes are immersed and no leaves are touching the water. 
Next you want to position your strands into a bright spot and of course I'm going to water the butterfly method so I have the soil uh, pretty moist. After that I'm going to um, put my butterfly method propagations into my prop box because I want to keep the soil moist for a longer period of time so the roots from the node are going to emerge easily and not have any problems uh, from the soil drying out. Of course, you need also a nice bright light. It has been 10 days since I took the propagation and put some in water and some directly in soil and I want to make the first update. So the ones that are in water actually are doing quite well. They are starting to produce roots you can see that there are a lot of them considering that it has only been like 10 days so yeah the water propagations are actually doing fantastic and they are very healthy no leaves have dropped and they even are flowering you can cut them off if you don't want the vines to use their energy for blooming. So here are the propagations that I put directly in soil prop box and some of them are starting to produce new shoots already but yeah these ones take a little bit longer to start growing compared to the one that are in water so yeah not so much a big difference as you can see there is one in there so here I don't know if you are able to tell there is a new shoot coming from the node even in there so yeah even the props that are in soil are doing something they are growing here you can see a new shoot also so yeah the updates are quite positive for 10 days there are no casualties, no rotting, and yeah, the plants are growing well. It has been 40 days since I made the string of hearts propagations, so I want to show you how the butterfly method ones are going on in the plant prop boxes. So here they are. Wait. As you can see, there are lots of updates. A lot of little vines and baby string of hearts have popped out from all the propagations. They are doing so well. So yeah, this is 40 days update on butterfly method propagation. The cuttings in water are also doing well. There are some couple of yellow leaves, but not a lot to be concerned. But all the other leaves are quite healthy. I can see some new growth and let me show you the roots. The roots are pretty nice and I think that they are ready to be potted with this length. 
So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put them in soil because I don't want to postpone it and risk of rotting already the work that has done. So I finished potting all the string of hearts and as you can see I gave her a quick shower and I'm going to show you. I have wrapped some of the strings on top so it's not going to look so bare and each node can grow roots attached to the soil and maybe grow new shoots. So yeah, this is the result. After 40 days we have already potted up our cuttings. So I'm going to keep you updating or updated on the development of the plant. So it has been even 20 days more than the last update that I uh, made in this video and I'm going to do the last update now for the propagations and I will show you how they are doing and how much they have developed. So first of all let's start by showing you the mother plant and I have it here. So this is the mother plant and as you can see it has grown quite a little bit since I took the propagations. Um, it is pushing out new leaves at the bottom and it is looking relatively full when you see it that way but the top is becoming a little bit bare and this baby stands outside in my balcony so I am a little bit uh, not so good at watering it in time so that's why it has dropped a little bit of leaves at the top and also it doesn't get sun or a lot of light uh, from the top so if you want your string of arts to be very full in this part then you need to provide some good lighting also at the top. This baby doesn't get that light so that's why it is uh, pushing out new shoots and is becoming fuller in this part of the plant but yeah it doesn't bother me too much because I have also these other babies that maybe I can do a full pot in the future so let me show you the propagations how they are doing. These are the propagations that I took with the butterfly method. These are all the four um, pots that I filled with cuttings of string of hearts and as you can see they have all produced uh, new shoots and are looking very cute. So this is an example of one of them and as you can see the new shoots are becoming quite long and some have also tried to flower even though I cut the flowers off because I want the plant to focus on creating roots and new leaves. So this is one of the propagations. This is the other one and this also as you can see has got some nice shoots coming out. This one 
is okay, but it is the slowest of them all. But still very nice growth. And also this one. So yeah, I'm very happy about the uh, way they are growing and the development that they have had. And I have kept them all this time in my prop box as I showed you. And the reason why I've kept the propagations I took with the butterfly method is because I think that they need a little bit more moisture than the other way because in order to, to create roots, the nodes need to feel the moisture coming from the soil. So if I want to uh, make myself things uh, easier, I put them on the prop box so the soil is going to maintain the moisture longer. So I don't need to be worried to water it very frequently. And let me show you the propagations that I took with uh, cuttings in water and how they are doing. So this is the pot that is filled with uh, propagations that I took through stem cutting and uh, rooted them in water. And as you can see, it is doing amazing, it is growing very well, the pot seems full and I think that it has grown a little bit in length. So yeah, this has been a very successful propagation and this method is quite nice if you want to have a pot that has a little bit of length since the beginning. And now I just want to say quickly uh, some of the differences between the two methods and what I think uh, um, are the main characteristics of both of them. So if you want to make more pots, more uh, new pots from your string of arts, then I suggest you using the butterfly method. That is what I mainly use when I want to multiply a lot of my string of arts. And um, if you have less material to work with and you want to create a full pot, then I suggest the uh, butterfly method because with less nodes you can create a bushier plant even though it may take a little bit more time to establish itself as you've seen uh, the pots that I made are just now shooting and becoming a little bit longer and uh, if you compare it to the other method that it looks very established already so yeah that is a little bit of a negative side of the butterfly method that uh, it needs more time for the plants to establish itself but it is a very positive thing because you can multiply it even more than uh, just cutting and water propagating so the other uh, method which is simply cutting the stems and putting them in water then that is a very nice uh, way of propagating. It's very safe because, yeah, it's pretty forward. You don't need a prop box or anything. You just put the cuttings in water and they are going to root. And actually they rooted pretty fast. And a very positive uh, aspect of this method is that you are going to create a very full and long pot since the beginning. So if you have more uh, plant to work with and you can chop uh, some nice uh, cuttings, then I suggest the second method. And yeah, you can see the difference in here. This one is the pot that I propagated through stem cuttings and these are the pots that I propagated with the butterfly method. You can see that with the same amount of material, plant material, I managed to make one uh, pot with uh, water propagation and four pots with the butterfly method. I think that uh, I even used less for the butterfly method than for the water propagation. So you can understand that the difference is quite obvious. So you just need to uh, choose which method think works best for you and which one you want to try it out. Maybe you can try them both and see if you are successful. But yeah, 
These were the two uh, ways that I propagated my string of hearts and I have been successful with all of them. Only my silver glory unfortunately um, rotted, not rotted, it died and it wasn't because it was a problem of the propagation. Actually they took very well with the butterfly method but when summer came and I uh, figured I would keep them outside so they can have more light they dried out a little bit too fast, they weren't already established in the root system uh, deep enough in the soil to take the moisture they needed so the upper part of the soil dried out uh, too much so they died so that is going to be just a suggestion if you make the butterfly method then after you bring them outside of the prop box or a humidity dome on any, or anything you are using you need to be a little bit careful to not let the soil dry out too much because they are used to have a little bit of more moisture they are going to be needed to be watered a little bit more frequently until they acclimatize so yeah that was it for this video i hope you find it useful and let me know in the comments if you have tried this propagation method if they were successful for you or if you have any other propagation method that I don't know that would be quite interesting don't forget as always to like this video if you found it useful share with your friends if they need some help to propagate string of arts also if you are not subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe because I'm trying to um, post regularly and of course, don't forget to check out my Instagram page, uh, albo underscore underscore plants. I post photos quite regularly and even reels, so we can keep in contact even there. Again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video, hopefully. Pachim!